So I'd like you to, with your group, you're going to come up with one, one statement right there, right now. And then For years, students in London right school sat row after row, facing the teacher. He talked, you listened, and okay, made so notes. We'll Maybe. Today, some yeah, London schools are trying a different approach. Students are organized into teams, working together to solve problems. It's called collaborative learning. This is not where teams of four, groups of four, do one-fourth of the work. Um, everybody is responsible for the group product. And what the group does is brings everybody in that group to a level of indep independent proficiency. So in other words, students get to work with each other. Mm -hmm. uh, that's very, very important. Um, uh, in my days, it was kind of like, a, I'd call it the monkey see, monkey do. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, if the teacher does it, then you learn it, and then you do it. Uh, but now it's it's uh, the teacher will will demonstrate it. The uh, uh, the class will uh, will uh, uh, try it with the teacher together, and then they get into their groups, and then they start to do it together. You need to explicitly structure the activities that students are responsible for and are doing to make sure that there's a net win. Um, and that there's actually an overall benefit for everyone if they collaborate. There has to be, there has to be something in it for everyone more than I could do this on my own. One of the things that I, I see in the classroom like this is there's no such thing as the back of the classroom. Like, no student can walk in and you know, drift off, uh, you know, try to ignore what's going on in the class. They, they're kind of uh, set up in a situation that they, they have to pull their weight and if they don't then the people around them in that, in that setting, uh, they can see it and they recognize it. So you know, the students have been great in terms of you know, engaging themselves, collaborating and sharing their ideas and sometimes it gives that student that never had that opportunity to talk in front of a class or have that confidence that now within a, an intimate group they're, they have the confidence to, uh, to talk about it and to uh, you know, share their ideas and thoughts.